Hello everyone. Our lesson for today is possible entrance exam questions about negative exponents and ratio. Problem number one. When simplified, 2 to the negative 2 plus 2 to the negative 3 all over 2 to the negative 3 is equal to A, 1 fourth, B, 1, C, 2, and D, 3. I'm giving you 3 seconds to solve. You can do it mentally. 1, 2, and 3. Now I'm going to show you the solution. How do you solve for this? Solution number one, one way of solving it, in other words, is this is equal to 2 to the negative 2 all over 2 to the negative 3 plus 2 to the negative 3 all over 2 to the negative 3. Then this is now equal to 2 cubed all over 2 squared. Remember, 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 all over 2 squared. And 2 to the negative 3 is also equal to 1 all over 2 cubed. And you learn that there's a shortcut. If this has a negative exponent, you can write it down. The exponent becomes positive. And if this has a negative exponent, you can transfer it up. But the exponent becomes positive. And this is now equal to 1. Now, what is 2 cubed over 2 squared equal to? This is equal to 2. Why? Because this is 2 to the 3 minus 2 plus 1. So this is now 2 to the 1 or 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. There. Our final answer is 3. Correct answer is 3. Now, let's move on to problem number two. What is the ratio of 4 over 15 to 4 over 5? A, 1 over 15, B, 4, C, 1 4, and D, 1 third. You have three seconds to solve. One, two, and three. Okay. So, this is how you solve this. This, this uh, involves ratio, and you know that ratio is just all over. So we can write this as 4 over 15 all over 4 over 5. Now, from here, how do you divide fractions? You multiply the numerator and the reciprocal reciprocal or the inverse, the multiplicative inverse of the denominator. There. So numerator times the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of the denominator. From here, you see that 4 cancels with 4. When you're canceling, it means you're getting 1 as an answer. And what else? 5 cancels with 15. The greatest common factor is 5, so you divide both by 5. 5 over 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So therefore, we have here 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 times 1 is 3. Final answer is 1 third. So the correct answer is letter D. Before we end, you always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe. Thank you.